Well, you've caught me making one of my favorite dishes. Kale is very popular right now, and a lot of people are eating it raw in salads. So today I'm gonna to show you a really quick kale salad that you can make at home. You can see that I've chopped my kale up really, really finely. And one of the tricks to making a good kale salad is to take a little bit of that bitter edge off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give my kale a little bit of a bath with some hot water. I'm just going to take a couple minutes to rinse it, give it a little massage, a little bit of a squeeze. And what this is doing is just softening the leaves a little bit. It takes a little bit of that raw taste away, but it's not really cooking it. It's just softening it a little bit. And once you've done that for a couple minutes, then just go ahead and turn your water to cold. Give it a quick rinse just to freshen it back up again. And we're good to go. So let's take this over to the table and I'll show you how to finish off your salad. So I've got my kale all nice and massaged and rinsed here. And I'm putting it into my salad spinner. If you don't have a salad spinner at home, you should think about getting one. Because one of the things that you want to do whenever you make a salad is you want to get your greens as dry as possible. Because otherwise, if there's too much water left on there, it's going to dilute your dressing. So, I'm going to take that out, and you can see how much liquid I was able to spin out of there, so that's great. Now, before I put it in the bowl, though, I'm going to go ahead and make my vinaigrette. When I make my salad dressings, I usually make them in the bottom of the bowl. It just seems to work better when it comes to mixing. And a classic vinaigrette usually calls for three parts oil to one part vinegar or lemon juice. I always use two. I think it's fine, and it's a third less fat. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a couple of spoons of olive oil in the bottom of my bowl. And for this kale salad, because the kale's pretty strong tasting, I don't want to use a strong vinegar or like a balsamic. I'm going to use something really mild and sweet. So I'm going to use a rice vinegar. So again, I'm just going to use one part to my two parts of oil. Some fresh pepper. Or you can use already ground pepper if that's what you want. And a little bit of salt. And that's kind of the start to your classic vinaigrette. I'm also going to put a, just a tiny bit of this grainy mustard in here. Just a little bit. And I'm going to mix all of that up before I put my kale in. And one of the things I wanted to point out is that I see a lot of pre-made kale salads in the supermarkets. And they're fine, but one of the things I've noticed when I've eaten them is that they're really, really oily. They seem to put a lot of dressing on there. And I'm keeping mine to a minimum because I really want the flavors of the kale and also the other ingredients I'm going to add. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put my kale in there. It's such a pretty color. And we're just going to give it a little bit of a toss. And one of the other things about kale is that it can be a little bit on the bitter side. And so one of the ways that you help to kind of counteract that bitterness is to add something sweet. So what I've got here is just some mango slices. And I've also got some apple. You can put other fruits in there. Uh, citrus is good. You could try something like some blood oranges if you wanted to. But just any kind of fruit. Some people put like dried fruit. They'll put raisins in there or maybe a little bit of cranberry. But it also adds a beautiful color. It's a nice contrast to this green, green salad. So there you go. And then maybe when you're ready to serve it, if you wanted to, you could put a few extra pieces on top. But you can see how quickly and easily that went together. And it makes a great side dish. Or the other thing you could do is some people just use this as an entree salad and just put a little protein on the side and you're good to go.